Hello. Today we're going to learn about using a variable for speed. Um, this is the first step in being able to make gravity work in Scratch. Um, we're not going to get to gravity in this video, but uh, this is the first piece of conceptual understanding. Um, I've started this off, I've named it speed demo. Um, I have a green flag clicked in a forever loop. I'm going to need those because I'm going to have something that's sort of going forever. If you have motion, is to have move. Now we've usually used move and turn. Um, we're going to use a, another set of blocks here which are really useful. Um, we're going to use change x by and change y by. Um, if you want to follow along and go grab those, you can actually grab them and sort of click on them and say, oh, that causes the cat to go to the right. This causes the cat to go up. Um, in programming and in math, um, uh, the opposite direction is represented with a negative sign, so if we want the cat instead to go left, we do change x by negative 10, um, and down would be change y by negative 10. Okay, so now we have the cat, they can move in all the different directions, yay, that's great. Um, to start off, I'm just going to work with x, so I'm putting this change x by negative 10 in this forever loop, um, and if I run that just like this, the cat unsurprisingly goes to the left. Um, I drag them back and, well, okay, they're going to keep going to the left until they run off, run to the edge of the screen and then they stop because Scratch tells it that, well, there's nothing over there. That's the end of the screen. At this point, I'm going to add a variable. So I'm going to disconnect that. Um, I'm going to make a new variable and I'm going to call it x speed. I've made it for all sprites, um, which is usually the way to go. Um, so I have this x speed. Right now it's 0. Um, I can set the x speed. Okay, I'm not going to use my variable ever, and it's kind of annoying to have to pull that down every single time, so I'm going to delete my variable. I right click over here and I say delete my variable. Okay, excellent. So I have x speed. Um, I have forever change x by negative 10, um, but I'm going to instead change x by x speed. This is the basic concept of speed. Speed is how much that position is changing by. Um, if I run this, I'm going to again pull my cat to back to the center of the screen. Um, nothing happens. Why is it that the cat's not moving? Oh, oh, the speed is zero. Um, in order to play around with this, um, if I double click on this twice, once to get it to big size, and again, it'll turn it into a slider, I can actually, oh, wee, it went, it, it started moving when I changed that X speed. Um, if you right click on this slider, you can actually change the slider range um, you can also switch it. That's another way to switch it to slider is to right click on it to start. Um, but anyway, I'm going to change the sl slider range um, and I want to give it a the ability to be negative. Um, I'm doing negative 20 to 20. Um, so let's, yeah, so it's running, oh, it's moving slowly, it's moving very fast. It's, there we go, yeah, we. Um, so notice that this isn't controlling where the cat is, right? Right now the cat is all the way over to the to this side of the screen. Um, and I could put the speed down there, and then it's still over there, but it was moving this way pretty fast. Um, we'll slowly bring it back. So that is a speed parameter. Tune in for the next video to see how to make um, movement with the arrow keys, that is, uh, um, and how to do that using the speed variable.